Hi guys and welcome to my 2 minute C++ series for Unreal Engine. In this series we'll be taking a look at various C++ concepts associated with Unreal Engine in just about 2 minutes. If you guys have any questions or suggestions leave those on my Discord server. Let's start the series with the first part. Create a blank project and give it a name. I've called mine Learn CPP. Change the project type to C++. You can leave the rest as is and hit create. Make an empty level, we'll be using that instead of the default one. Just set that to be the default level by heading into your project settings. You can now open up your source code by heading into tools and open Visual Studio project. In here on the right hand side where you see games, this is the directory that we'll be working with. You don't have to create anything, Unreal Engine does that for you and we'll see how in just a minute. To start editing your source code, head into tools and create a new C++ class. Now in here you can select the type to none, we'll go over all the major classes later on. Change the class type to public and select a path based on your convenience. Once you throw aside all those pop-up messages, you should go into the class which you just created. Now we get to the .h file. This contains the class itself where you'll actually be giving you know a basic overview of what the class will contain. We'll talk about that later. For now, we'll just organize this public section into variables as well as functions. Variables are required in order to store data. In C++, you can create variables with the following syntax. Now broadly, there are three main sections. First is the type of data which you're storing. The second is the variable name itself. And the third is the initial value that you want to give it. It's a convention in Unreal Engine to use Pascal case, so let's fix that real quick. What we have here, a class, is basically a blueprint for an object. Now, this class whatever is there can be instantiated. Right now, this is basically a blueprint for each and every instance of the class test class. You'll build an understanding of this as you actually work with it. But for now, just know that this as a whole is just a template. 